<laughs> Hi, welcome to the shed. Uh, I'm Bob. I'm here with Kurt Rosenwinkel at the Chicago Jazz Showcase. We just heard a set from his new group, Kaipi. It was killing. Uh, so, Kurt, can you tell us a little bit about this new group? Uh, yeah, it's a group that uh, I formed to play the music on my album, Kaipi. And um, <clears throat> it's got three guys from Brazil, a uh, pianist from uh, Berlin, and the drummers from New York City. And um, we're on our world tour, and it's going great. And um, the album's available, there's videos, and uh, I started a record company last year called Hardcore Records, and we are uh, releasing, this is our first release, and it's also available on vinyl that it's coming. Cool. And, um, and then we're gonna do an album of Pedro's uh, after, after this. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so you have such a unique sound. Like everybody's like, man, Kurt always sounds, his like compositions are unique, his playing is unique. What advice do you have to young musicians on how to develop their own voice? Uh, I would say um, just be true to yourself and um, you know, follow your heart and dig deep and uh, make your own connections and uh, yeah, practice a lot and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, do, do your thing. Yeah, we heard you doing your warm-up, and what are you thinking when you're doing like a warm-up like that? Uh, it depends. I don't know. Just kind of trying to warm up, and uh, so I'm just kind of thinking about maybe a progression. I think I was working on a prog uh, a progression during okay, that. Cool. Yeah. And what tips do you have? Like one tip for a beginning improviser. What should they be doing? Listening. Yeah. 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 Listening. Listening to the other musicians more than you're concentrating on yourself. Awesome, awesome, I agree. Um, so if you were to go back in time and tell yourself to change one thing about your playing when you were first starting, what would it be? Boy. Uh, I don't know. Um, I've never thought about that. But maybe I would uh, maybe try to practice more finger picking. Or, or study classical guitar, perhaps, you know. But maybe that's what I would do, yeah. Awesome, so like technique stuff, right hand, building those chops. Yeah, just um, learning, the learning the guitar from a, from a classical point of view, the Bach lute suites, and just getting that kind of technique happening. I think that's really uh, valuable. Awesome, what are you listening to currently? Well, I'm listening to Pedro's music, because we're working on his album, yeah. and it's really incredible, he's gonna, the album is amazing. He's an amazing composer and um, multi-instrumentalist. So I'm listening to a lot of that. Uh, just last night I discovered some music that really blew me away. Um, Shamba? Shamba. Yeah. Shamba is like amazing. Uh, I guess he was a producer for some hip-hop people, but he's got his own album out now. And it's killing. Well, so definitely check out Shamba. Uh, and then, what are you thinking when you're soloing? That's a question all my students always ask. What are you thinking when you're soloing? Sorry. It's Samfa. Samfa. S-A-M-P-H-A. -A. Yeah. All right, so check out Samfa. That's really, really killing. So what are you thinking about when you're soloing? Uh, that my heart is in it, you know? To, to play from your heart, that's, that's what I'm making sure that, that I'm doing. And, and listening and uh, you know, being clear about what I'm doing and thinking ahead, like hearing, hearing ahead, you know, and uh, enjoying the music. Yeah, right. Yeah. Last one, it's about practice. All my students are asking me about practice. How did you practice when you were, when you were starting and now that you're established, how are you like, uh, balancing all the different roles, composer, arranger, like keeping your chops up and developing new sounds? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I, I started um, practicing, and I still do it this way, just kind of um, just free roaming, you know, through whatever catches my attention and following that and seeing where it leads. And sometimes that'll lead to a, an exercise or it'll lead to a song. And so uh, I just let it go free. And sometimes, you know, I'll think about something that I want to achieve and I'll try to invent exercises to try to get my, get further along. And about the second part of the question, uh, 
Yeah, I try to take as much time as, 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 as I can get, like on the road, you know, if we're during sound check, you know, I'll practice then or, or in, in, a, in the airport or, you know, in, in, in my hotel room. Try to get two hours, you know, a day at least. And, uh, but there is a, a whole lot going on. Yeah, <laughs> so, you're a busy man. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Kurt Rosenwinkel. Rosenwinkel. Rosenwinkel, sorry. <laughs> and we'll see you in the shed.